so I've been working on a video where I get Bella level 1. When I first started making the video, I was doing force legitimately legitimately without any cheese as I thought the bell requirements for adepts was block, parry, dodge, and damage in the depth. But then I died at 28 enforcers and decided to cheese it, and I noticed I was still getting bell progress when I was cheesing the enforcer by just doing damage to it. This is how I would cheese the enforcer and I learned it from Alpha's uh, video on it. Go check out Alpha's video on how to cheese the enforcer as I just went over in this video for the sake of context. After every enforcer kill, I would check civics to see if the dialogue changed and add 9 enforcers when I was doing enforcer legit at a change of dialogue. But when I was cheesing enforcer, I had a change of dialogue at 12 enforcers. This is because when I was doing it legit, sometimes I'd get knocked and had my high level alt account kill the enforcer to save me. But when I was cheesing enforcer, I didn't need any help at all and I was able to solo it 100% of the time. When I would get knocked while doing enforcer legit, I'd only deal about half the enforcer's HP or less and the damage would add up over time. The example of me killing enforcer and getting saved by my alt account is here. So then that eliminates any possibility of depth progress being block, parry, or dodges, but then I wanted to see if this invisible stack called a progression existed. So when I died again at 20 enforcers, I cheesed 11 enforcers just before the dialogue changed and then I duo 2 enforcers while only hitting them 10 times. If progression was really a thing that got split whenever you duo the monster that gives Bella EXP, then I would have a change of dialogue. But instead, I didn't. Civix didn't have any change of dialogue until I actually did the damage to Enforcer. So in conclusion, Death's progress is purely damage to mobs. I recently died at 41 Enforcers, which is why I'm making this video before my video on getting Bell at level 1. But it takes 12 Enforcers for each dialogue change. 12 Enforcers for the first dialogue change. 24 Enforcers for the second dialogue change. 36 Enforcers for the third. And I'm not sure about from there on, as every time I get there I die. If we assume Bell is 48 Enforcers equivalent, then the total damage done to mobs in the depths would have to be 192,000 damage since the Forcer has 4,000 HP. What this means is that if you have the depths requirement for Bell, the only requirement is damage and you must do 192,000 damage in the depths until you are guaranteed a Bell. The reason Ascended mobs in the depths give a lot more Bell progression is because they have 3 times more HP than normal which in turn allows you to fulfill the damage requirement quicker. Archmaid has said Bell requirements are different for everyone, but what he meant about this is the method. Some people have arena progression, depth progression, or boss progression. I have no clue on the requirements for boss bell progression or PvP bell progression, but this is the exact requirement for depth bell progression. I've spent over 50 hours progressing my level 1 freshie to get bell and still haven't gotten it as I've wiped so much. And I don't plan to give up, so please subscribe to support me on the journey.